Welcome back. Today we're going to be going over draft orders, how to set up an invoice, and how to do all of this while on the phone with the customer. So let's jump into it. Let's talk about orders. Once you've got your site all set up and your checkout process is in place and you can now add your payments and everybody can go and give you the money, you're now up and rolling. But in business, there are always edge cases. Not everybody is going to go through your website. Some people are not at a computer when they call you that they want to, they want you to send them an invoice. These are things that show up um, and Shopify can handle these sort of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and show you how to set up a draft order. Essentially a draft order is a customer service order when someone is on the phone and you need to put them together an invoice quickly and send it off to them so that you can capture that sale while you're talking to them. If your product is out of stock and you want to get them um, hooked up on another product that's similar that might be better for their needs, this is where this would come in. So if we have a look at the dashboard and we go into orders. Now orders are gonna, invent, are gonna automatically filter in um, as people check out through our online process. That's the idea of online e-commerce. But underneath all orders, there is another tab here called drafts. And if we click on drafts, drafts are orders that we're going to create on our own. So starting off, let's click on the create order in the top right hand corner. This is essentially going to give us our order page. This order page is where we're going to search for the products that we're going to add to the order, add a customer, um, email invoices, take payments, that sort of thing. We can do that all from this page. So if we click on products and we're gonna sell one of our bag organizers, we can just start typing in the field and it will start populating and searching. We add the product and we say how many that we're going to, uh, we're gonna sell to this person. So we're gonna say, we're gonna sell them three. Um, because they're purchasing a, a bulk number of them, we can add a discount for them because we're working in control of what's being sold here. So we're gonna give them a 10% discount and we're going to say it's for a bulk purchase. And we're gonna apply that discount directly to the order. This means we don't have to set up any discount codes, have them check out. So we don't have to set up a discount code, send them a link, have them check out. It makes the customer experience very easy. Okay, so we have our uh, items put together. We need to now need to pick a customer. So uh, we can either create a new customer or we can pick an existing customer. Let's take me as the existing customer. It's already got my shipping address added in here. We can add any notes that we'd like to the order. So a customer called in for a bulk discount. And then what we can do is we can hit on email invoice. Now, um, typically the next action on your page is going to be highlighted in blue, but because there's got a couple of options here, you can either save the draft order. So let's go and do that. Let's save the draft order. So if it's something that we want to work on and then come back to later on, you know, maybe they need to get an answer. Maybe the customer needs to get us an answer on something. We can go and put that together. Um, and then what we can do is we can hit email invoice. Now, when we hit email invoice, you'll see what will happen is it's going to come up and it's going to have invoice name and then it's going to have a place for us to add in uh, a, cu a custom message to the customer. We can edit these templates in notifications, which I go into in another video. But for right now, um, please see the attached for your bulk bag organizer. You can pick who is it coming from. This list pulls up from the settings on the account pages. So whatever pieces you have in here are going to uh, pull into the from. So you can say that it's coming from anybody in your organization. And then we can hit review email. So now it's going to give us an example of what the email is going to look like. Um, and then once we hit send notification, it'll actually send it to the customer. Um, now, the way that this is set up is so that the customer gets the email, they click on complete your purchase, and then it takes them to the payment page so that you don't have to capture any credit card information with them over the phone, and you don't have to uh, worry about um, you know, any security. They have all of the security because they're going through a secure checkout, everything is encrypted, um, and it will capture all of their stuff automatically, making it very easy for them to get it in their email and complete their purchase. So we're gonna hit send notification. Okay, so the invoice has now been sent now in their hands in order to do it. Now let's say, for example, this is another edge case where they call and they're like, my credit card's not working, is there any possible way I can pay by Interact Direct Transfer? 
Um, you talk to the customer, you come up with a payment method, they send you your payment. You can now go mark as paid. And what this will do is it will actually take this draft order and move it into your orders list. So when you hit this, this is when any fulfillment that you have set up. So if you have connected to any drop shippers or if you have any um, apps that trigger on when an order is created, this is the point that it's going to do that. So I'm gonna hit create order because I've taken payment. And now this order has now switched over from a draft order to an actual order. It does give you an idea that this was being created from draft orders, orders, so if you're wondering where it originated from inside your dashboard, you can now see it. And now we're into the regular flow of marking it as fulfilled and fulfilling it to the customer, which again, I'll cover in another video. Um, but for the most part, this is how you create a custom order inside your Shopify dashboard, making it very easy for you to do customer service over the phone, um, when you have a customer on the line. Thanks for coming by, I hope this was helpful. If it was, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if that's something that you're into, and we will see you in the next one.